the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. I'm gonna cut it. I I cut and paste it in there on one of the. Man, slides. that's deep. You know, uh, but I did a question. Just I better go back to your thought for a second. But I did have a thought here. I said, why sow on different ground, and why not just sow on good ground? Is uh, uh -huh. is a question. And what I had here is that uh, you guys from the south, uh, sowers know how to sow uh, real good. You know, as far as a farmer, anyway. When he sows, right, he he puts the seeds in. You know, he he makes those lanes, right, mm -hmm. and then he put those seeds in the ground. At least this guy right here does, and then he covers them up. And I, I think a lot of I probably you probably see your dad and stuff. They mostly cover those things up, don't they? Birds don't get get to the seeds, do they? I think there there uh -huh. was a there was a there's different methods. There are right. methods where the person just walks along and throws seed out across the ground, just throws them out. You know. Is it? Yeah. And then there's some that are planted. I mean I see when they do with grass seeds when they try to do grass seeds, but I thought a lot of they, they put those rows, those nice even rows like corn, right? Corn mm -hmm. a lot of plant, plant them right. so many inches apart or so many feet apart. Right, right. For the people yeah. go back across, you know, so that's why I'm thinking that most Depends on what it is, like you said. Depends on what they're sowing. <laughs> yeah. Right? And, yeah. And I assume that really the sower is that middle box right there, right? That, right. Where you That's got people. In, a, you got in people. our situation, anyway. Yeah, I think so, right? He's so, talking about souls. Right. Yeah. Uh, and, and then it says, still, okay, so why does he even sow on those different people with hard hearts? Stony hearts, a bunch of cares. You know, why, why even bother that? I put down his next one. I'm just doing it, Brother Jack, so you go, because I know you got to go. Uh, I put down these uh, the scripture. Here's my CTI. I think I got the 18 words. Uh, the kingdom soar, sows God's word. The devil took from the wayside, but cannot on good ground, on good fruitful ground. Mm -hmm. No, he can't take from it. Um, mm -hmm. and, and then I said there's there's like four different areas of where the seed was sown, right? And and, and like you said, Elder, it's like really sown in the heart or soul of man is this way he's doing. Mm -hmm. And that, that requires scattering it all over, but that also means that's why he came anyway, Elder. You know, because that, that scripture here in Matthew 9, 12, but when Jesus heard that he said unto them, they that be whole need not a physician, right? For those that are sick. But he said, but I go, but go ye learn what that means. I will have mercy and not sacrifice, for I have not come to call the righteous, but centers, sinners to repentance. And then Romans 5, 6 said, For when you were yet without strength in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. So he's really sowing that seed across uh, the unrighteous. Which well, actually was everybody. Well, I mean, yeah. Well, that, that technically, he said there is no righteous, right? <laughs> no righteous, but no. Amen. Amen. So I think that, that's why I want to simply say is that that was his calling. He came to, he called all of us. Every there was, yeah. You know. And there was a, there's a consistency among them because remember when he went out and invited everybody to a wedding or to right. that together, he got yeah. the good and the evil. Amen. Well, Brother Jackson, since you got to go, why don't you just pray as the end for me? If you don't mind, I just want to catch you, catch on my video. That, that That's the man. <laughs> hey, praise God. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm actually not the man. I'm just the, the, the brother trying to get to the man, you know? I heard that, right? I heard he that. Hey, wait, look, you ain't trying to get to him now because he, he, he's already available to you, right? There you go. Clarify. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So your part is to, to be able to receive him. 
Because he's knocking at the door. Huh? Uh, mm -hmm. And I know you already opened the door. You come on in. Come on in. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Amen. On my knees this morning, tell it. Yes, sir. Amen. So All right, let us pray. Father in heaven, Lord, you are worthy to be praised, honored, and glorified. And we're just glad to be with you uh, already this morning. Yes. Uh, we thank you for the blessings that you have bestowed upon us. Father, we know that there are blessings that, that uh, we acknowledge. We, we see them. They're, they're clear to us. Yes. Uh, and then there are those blessings, Father, that we don't notice, that are not clear to us. Yes. But you bestow them upon us anyway, because yes. that is the kind of God that you are. You are a loving God, and, and you uh, do things that are in the best uh, uh, interest of your children. Yes. Uh, you also do things that are in the best interest of those who have not yet uh, learn to follow you, dear Jesus. Yes. You you work uh, on them, and you you give evidence of your yes. presence all the time. And so we thank you because that is how good you are that you gave uh, your only begotten Son, so that whosoever believeth in Him, in him. Uh, shall not perish, but instead have everlasting life in your presence in your life. Yes, Lord. But Father, we just thank you for 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 that knowledge, and we thank you that. Uh, you continue to work on our hearts to continue heart. to yes. to keep our hearts fertile so that yes. we can produce uh, spiritually uh, what you would have us to do. We can do uh, the purposes uh, in this life that you would have us to fulfill. Yes. So Lord, thank you for this message. We thank you also for this technology that we have that not only will this uh, be given to, to those who are listening now, but to those who will listen in the future. Yes. And dear Father, these things we we pray that people will yield and submit themselves to you and yes. not to their own ways not to the desires of their flesh yes. but to the, to the desires of your spirit yes and i thank you for all that you have done all that you're going to do today and all that you will do in the future according to your will and your way in jesus name we pray amen 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 so you say you got to you got to prepare your message well, I got to do that, but I also, uh, there's a, I'm singing this morning um, and also uh, part of the choir, so I need to get to that. I totally kind of forgot. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I, I've been working on my song, yeah. but uh, part of the choir stuff, yeah, I kind of forgot about it. Because, you know, we, we practice Wednesday, and then next thing you know, it's Thursday, Friday, and then I went out to the uh, fellowship yesterday. And so normally Saturday, since I have not been, you know, going out and doing anything, anything that I kind of didn't get to during right. the week, I'll catch up on on Saturday, you know. Yes, yeah. And I didn't I didn't do that yesterday. And so I woke up this morning and I said, Oh wow, hold up, you know, I got I gotta get ready for this this thing this morning, you know. So yeah. Well, yeah. Hey look, we want you to go ahead and uh, you know, cause you like I said, you gotta get your head right. You know, you gotta listen so you can hear God, see what he's saying yeah. to you. Uh, yeah. you, want, you want to make sure it's, it's done in decent and in order. Yes, know? exactly. You know, uh, you know, I need to respect uh, what, what it is that he has for me to do. You know, I just can't go in there on, on the fly. <laughs> Unless, of course, it happens that way. But in this case, that's not the case. You know, I, I need to go ahead and prepare. Yeah, right. well, you, I, I think if nothing else, you know, I think one of the feet, and I'll throw this out before you leave, is that part of that preparation, too, is, is, is to be able to, he that has ears to hear, right? What the spirit is saying, right? So, so you you're trying to say I, I, I got to get some clutter out of the way too. That, that's so, right. So, so I can hear what he's saying. That's right. Mm -hmm. I want to be a, what do you call it? What's the elder? I guess I want to be a willing vessel. Mm -hmm. Healing to him, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's right. I want you to get get because oh, you got a lot of stuff, right? You got stuff going on in, that's your, right. in, in your life, and and you got to be able to say I got to put that aside. Yes, so exactly. I can hear what he's saying, and then when I get up there, I'm gonna let him. I, I just want him to flow. Mm -hmm. Not hindered by any. You know, Pastor Dollar just said like, uh, not hindered by any satanic or demonic forces. I, I, I just want the word to just flow. So you mm -hmm. don't want that to hinder it. So care sometimes do that. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Amen. Yes, so I, I, I pray that you do well, brother. Hey, amen. Amen. Well, you know, and I, I leave it up by that time, you know, once it's time to, especially this evening when I get up behind the pulpit, hey, it's all on God anyway at that time. Right. <laughs> and, uh, and that's the way I, I, I like to do it. Give him the glory. Hey, do they, do they record that? Do they record that stuff? They do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on uh, the Sandy Valley. If you go to 
if you go to Sandy Valley's um, Sandy Valley Baptist Church, their Facebook page. You know, I don't, I haven't written down the dates that I speak, but you know, obviously tonight will be one. And then mm -hmm. uh, I spoke not last week, but the week before last. And uh, uh, yeah, so you know. Do they? The last question for you. Then, when you say it's gonna be on the website, is it gonna be? It's like uh, archive ones. I mean, they're not yeah. gonna. They, are they gonna edit it first before they post it on the website or? I don't, I don't think they do. I, I, from what I've seen thus far, it's just, hey, whatever happens. Whatever happens. That's how, mm -hmm. And it's going to be on for that, for that. So it'll be on today, after yes. this evening. What's that? Are you yes. doing this evening or the night? Well, the... well, this morning, it'll be, it'll actually be, I, I think they're doing it Facebook Live this morning. So we start at 1030 and then um, it'll obviously be archived for this morning and then there'll be another one for this evening. Okay, Facebook Live then, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, well, brother, will you uh, will, will send me the link to it when you get a chance. Yeah, I'll try that. to find it. I'll try to find it, but if you can send a link, that's even better. Hey, Amen. Roger that. Roger that. Uh, All right, brothers, y'all take care. God bless you. Too. God, God bless. bless. Right. Amen. 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 I had the, uh, let's see here. Yeah, and I put down the, the, uh, let me put those slides back. <coughs> Jimmy just died on. Yeah, I see him. I put the uh, slides back up so we can. Jimmy, you got your, your uh, I can put yours up if you got it. You got your uh, CIT? You can put it in chat. I can uh, cut and paste it. Yeah, hey, Jimmy. You may walk away from me. Walk away from me. And you had yours last week. Yeah, you had a good, nice slide and everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't, you don't want to put it up again, do you? You might want to have it available so we could, you know, because he wanted to uh, go over the CITs and then. Uh, we wanted to go over the application, I guess, of, of uh, putting those things together. Uh, that way we can talk about when he showed up. And he did, you saw his last week, right? Was that, uh, you're talking about a bishop? bishop? Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. Jimmy, you back yet? Hey, Jimmy. He ain't back there yet. Yeah, just have yours available so we can, we can, uh, All right. when, whenever, whenever he comes in. And, and what I'll do, like I normally traditionally do, is, what, you know, what, what, what he has, you know, what, what he led me to for, you know, for side hours discussion. And then when he comes <laughs> in, we can go ahead and work with it. Um, you will, uh, you'll, you'll be able to be uh, sharing. One second. Uh, yep. You can just have it in place when it when it's uh Yeah, I'll just check and see if I could do it. Do it, yeah. Let me say the kingdom of God is advanced through the preaching of the gospel. Yes, sir, that is true, right? Seed sowing. Sowing seed. Preconditioning of the heart and ears to receive the gospel is required. And now that's now I thought that was very interesting uh preconditioning yeah of the heart and ears to yeah. receive and and you know I, what what what's what's the uh that's a good thought what's the what what that means anyway precondition the four the four conditions of the uh of the uh the uh the, uh, the ground uh-huh it the, wasn't ready it wasn't ready until it wasn't ready to receive the gospel until it got to the good ground portion of 
kind of gleaned that from uh, what Bishop did. What, uh, Addison had said. Okay. Actually, what Addison had said about how his heart changed as he grew in as he grew in faith. I went from being stony all the way up to being good ground. Right. And uh, it's like I think we all go through those phases of development Pre before we actually can receive the gospel. Because I mean, I heard the word before I I received it. I thought someone was fooling me. I really did. I mean, somebody yeah. being eaten by a fish and then spit upon them. I mean, and that just as an aspect of the gospel, not the gospel itself. And because I think the truth of the matter was, <clears throat> I did not hear the gospel. Put that, put yours down there for it. I heard a bunch of, uh, I heard a bunch of, uh, I heard a bunch, I didn't hear the gospel. I heard a lot of uh, stories. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was like, it was like neat. the Bible was turned into like a fairy tale. I mean, like a, a, a grim fairy tale book or something. There's a bunch of little stories in there were cute and some interesting, some were beyond belief. But they didn't yeah. really tell me what had happened as far as the gospel was concerned. And what I find out is that even in this generation, in our times, a lot of people don't know what the gospel is. What, when I think that, the, you know, the I think one of the, uh, the, the question about, they're not, you know, like, wasn't that the same way when Jesus came to the right? Is that, well, how would they know about the gospel anyway until they heard it? And exactly. Only thing, and, 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 uh, well, go ahead, go ahead. We, we just preached a lot of uh, nice cliches and we preached a lot of, uh, you know, uh, urban, uh, what they call them, religions and stuff That's like that, but we're not, we're not preach the truth as far as the gospel is concerned because when people say saved and when they say that they're you know they're, they're saved no i don't think a lot of us understand what being saved means I mean, right right it, you know and, and the gospel was that the gospel was was talking about <laughs> how you are really not going to have to suffer the wrath of god and how you the way has been made for you to be reconciled to the creator right that is the gospel Yes. The rest of that stuff is for getting cars and houses and even a better life and stuff is concerned is is in the gospel because a lot of people who come to the word the scriptures tells us that if you live godly you shall be persecuted. Uh -huh. Now that's a good life that you're looking for. Well then come on join us. But if you think you're gonna get a car and a house and all of this as a result of that, if that's a guarantee to you, well it it is definitely not the focal point, even though it says that he would that we should have the good things of the kingdom. He ain't really talking about, I don't think, he's not talking about material stuff. He's literally talking about, and, and I mean, as a as a residue in the wake of our growth, spiritual growth, these things come, but they're definitely not a focal. And it wasn't why he died. Jesus didn't die to give you a house or a car. Right. He died to save your soul. Well, you know, and, I, Hell, and I, Jesus died to reconcile us to the Father. That's the right. gospel. But you know, I think that's the, you know, maybe that's one of the uh, reasons the message is maybe uh, uh, kind of offset a little bit. If 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 that is what we're teaching, and people, out there, a lot of people may not be as motivated for material things as we we think right some people especially some of the young people sometimes they're not as they're not as driven by uh a nice brand new house and car and 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 family like talking about there's those that deal with drugs right they're trying to get fast money but in reality they're trying to get any money they can i was always thought that the uh the the this is me but it, it's, it's also uh, in there where they get deliverance from, you know, the, these things that we're talking about. You know, like you see up here with the stony ground and the, 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 the rocks, the hardened heart and, and the thorns, right? Uh, I, I thought that in a lot of cases, they, they're like, like you, you just said, to live uh, godly. They have God living in you. God, and, and what, what I'm talking about is the fact of this, 
changing your 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 uh, like the person who comes in who who's depressed, right? They got a life of depression. They got a life of uh, of, of disappointment, right? They, they 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 got life of anger. You know, some things have happened to them. And, and and so some people come in to be to say you you God so, so if I come in this gospel I'm gonna get this that you know like that uh, the scripture in Romans uh, eight the spiritual minded is life and peace amen right and so some people is like I'm looking for that that peace that that amen amen that. and he said I came to give you life and life more abundantly it's not so much of the uh, the cars, the house, and all that. There's some of just really the, the internal peace of mind. Uh, the, the, uh, the, 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 the reconciliation to the Father is the gospel. Right. To me. Right. In that reconciliation, we receive, and as he said, and as Bishop repeats often, the scriptures tell us we were born dead in trespasses and sin. Right. What's going to come out of that? Dead? I mean, decay, rot, malign malignancies. Every evil thing you can think of is death. So we were born dead in trespasses and sin, cut off from God. That is our condition. That's the a condition. resolution exactly. is that now we have, because of the, the gospel says now we have God in us. We have been reconciled to our Father. That is the gospel. And, 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 and all and the, the, yeah. Go the ahead. things that come with that are the, 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 the uh, what can I say? The things that come with that restored relationship is what we inherently receive. I mean, that is, and those things are good. They're all good. Um, those are the, that's the condition of just that restoration. His spirit flowing in us and us flowing in his spirit has nothing to do with conditions. The condition that's meant is now we have life in us. Initially we had death in us, or we were dead, and now we're brought alive again spiritually. Right. What happens after that is not nearly as important as that occurring because we are alive eternally. He says the kingdom of God comes not by observation, but it's revealed from within. So uh -huh. I can go through hell because I've been through hell to a certain extent, right? And not lose hey, my peace. Just... and not lose my peace because my peace was in me because I have God in me, right? I have life in me. Yeah. So those things that are that is the joy of it. It's, it's, I mean, the truth of it is that now you have God living in you. You have the life of God in you. You have right. life in you, whereas in the past you didn't. And, right. and the thing that I found out that, that benefits me the most is the joy that comes with that relationship. I can literally go through some hard times and still have joy. And I've seen other saints be able to do it. So they put them in jail. Is that a, is that a blessing? Well, it will be worse. Why? Not because of what was going around them, but what went, went on inside of them. And the fact that they had been reconciled, or they were being reconciled or in the presence, and they were working on behalf of the Lord. Right. So, it's that renewed relationship that's the gospel to me. And that's the gospel that I preach. It's like, you need to be one with God. The, the way has been made for you to be reconciled to the Father. And what's going to come with that? Yeah, you're going to probably lose the depression you will if you're walking in it. You're going to lose what? You, your depression will leave you. Uh, I mean, just the, what's the indicators of being alive, really, in the spirit? And I think that's the thing that we don't focus on a lot. And that's why people sometimes live a slave because most of the time we're focusing on the indications of being alive in the spirit. We use, still use material wealth, and that ain't it. Right, and then the, like Love, I said- Love, joy, yeah, peace, right. long suffering, patience, meekness, gentleness, faith, temperance, you know, those things. Those the are things to, to bring in. Yeah, we want yeah. to bring into uh, the, 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 uh, our conditioning. Uh, yeah. And I think, and I think that's what I think a lot of people are drawn to those things when they say, "Lord, save me." If they're trying to get, uh, I think a lot of people are drawn is that, do I get this love that I don't get from the world? Because some people got hate, 
that's been given to him. Do I get this piece? You know, and then the question how that is cultivated uh, in everybody or each individual, right? I mean, because that's what they want. And the question is, when do those things happen? They need to be delivered from different things. And I, I think that's that's the biggest question is like, if I need healing, when do I get my healing? You know, when do I get when do I get my peace? When I get this life, this living. And and so when they come into the gospel, they, they, there's, they come in, to me, people come in in different conditions. You agree, right? People come in with different conditions, right? Yeah. And then how, when are those conditions changed is the question. It's, and I think that's what they're looking for is that help me to change. Help me to to grow in the things of God. Help I me. Think that, 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 yeah. the, the thing that I missed initially, because we asked, we want peace. Yeah. But we don't want to know who we want peace with. And I think we'll think, because we're cardinal when we're born and mm -hmm. we have our relationships with people. Right. We think we're seeking peace with people. But the true peace that we seek is the peace with God. Amen. That's where the reconciliation comes in. Reconciliation comes in that when we accept Jesus Christ, now we have peace with God. And that peace does surpass understanding. It's not the peace that we're going to get from the world. So it's not even peace for the people because sometimes when you accept Christ as Lord in your life, you lose fellowship with other people because they, they leave you. They some of them they want, hey, look, some of them want to leave. <laughs> they, they do. I mean, we do. I mean, honestly speaking, yeah, that's true. But, but, uh, but I think the initial, the, the real gospel is now I have peace with God. My creator and I are one. Your creator and you can be one. You can be one with the one who manifested, who, who created you, created the universe, has access, not access, but almost everything that you can, any and everything that you need or ever need or ever will need, he is and has. You are now one with him. Right. Let's explore this relationship. You know what I'm saying? If you need peace, you are there with him. Ask him, talk to him. The communication lines have been restored, and you can go into the throne I mean, the, the, the Holy, the Holy, and converse with him yourself. That is the truth. And I think that's the, one of the aspects of Christianity that we really miss. We don't teach that. Understand. We don't take advantage of it. We don't know. It's like God is right there with you now. You can talk to him. You're talking to yourself, you know, you're, 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 you're coming up with fictitious characters that can't give you a response or can't affect anything in your life. You are yeah. talking to the creator of the universe. Your dad is now the one who made everything. Amen. So that, that to me is the guy. And, and, and what I've seen is, is when you begin to live in accordance with that, it manifests. It really does manifest. You know, we're, we're, it ain't speculation. It's, it's testimony for most of us. Yeah, God came through a lot. The Father has manifested Himself in my life a tremendous amount of time. It, it, even if it was just the issue of giving peace, I remember when my wife passed, there was no pain like that I could imagine. But then I realized the need for the comfort of that the, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ says that He would sin. The company. Uh, for me, that manifested during that period of time. So that's not, it's not speculation or guess, guessing. Well, it's, it's actually, it's an actual occurrence. He is yeah. there for us. I'll let that walls get out. <laughs> but I, I guess, and you know, and, and Bishop, you're going to say, uh, Bishop, you're going to say something. 